Good evening and welcome back to Electronic Game Information's Game of the Year Awards 2018. It has been a rocky road thus far, but tonight I have uh, done the research. I stayed up late all night playing the games that are going to be nominated and winning awards uh, this evening. So let's open up the lines, let's, uh, get, let's take to the phones, let's start the list, and let's get this thing going. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yes. We are. We have we have Cricket Arison, Ben O'Brien, and Alan Resnick all joining me back here tonight for the uh, final final episode of our Game of the Year awards uh, ceremony. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We are getting started with our best PS Vita game of the year. Best PS Vita game of the year uh, is a uh, Metroidvania game. It's an action adventure. You jump on platforms. You get items. You solve puzzles. Game. It's called Icon Iconoclasts. I played it last night for the very first time, and let me tell you, it is a fantastically fun game. Great art style, wonderful pixel art, uh, great gameplay. If you are one of those lucky people that happens to have a PlayStation <laughs> Plus account and a PlayStation Vita, I believe you can still pick this up for your instant game collection. It is one of the best PS Vita games to come out this year, and a wonderful send-off for this misunderstood, largely uh, 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 Poorly selling video game system. The next up is, of course, uh, the uh, it's a the PS Vita version of Bloodstained: Ritual of the Night. Uh, we, this is the, of course, the uh, plat. This is an interesting image to have chosen for that, but there it is up on the screen. It's uh, going to represent Bloodstained: Rit Ritual of the Night. And here we have a game that a lot of people didn't know about. It's called the. It is, of course, the Subway Dogs of Russia. The Subway Dogs of Russia is a kind of a mixture of exploration and, and beat-em-up for the PlayStation Vita. Russian Subway Dogs. It's a game that a lot of people didn't pay attention to because it, 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 it has some unpopular uh, uh, associations attached to it. But let me tell you, if you're, thought, if you're gonna be thinking about the best PS Vita games of 2018, you're gonna be thinking about Russia Subway Dogs. Next up we have Rogue Aces. Rogue Aces is a shoot 'em up game with some roguelike elements. And you can probably guess what that's like. Next up is Steins Gate Elite. These are uh, a wonderful, the wonderful Steins Gate series of uh, video poems and uh, video, excuse me, video novels, uh, video game of interactive. It's uh, Steins Gate. It's one of the best PS Vita games. I didn't have time to Really dive into it last night, but let me promise you, uh, the intro was fantastic with some fa uh, great FMVs, and the winner is Iconoclasts. Iconoclasts has won the PS Vita, uh, best PS Vita game of 2018. Hi, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We just announced our, our best PS Vita game for 2018. What are you thinking? Uh, just congratulations. I really think it deserved it. But yes. You know, do you own the PS Vita? Vita? I don't. I at one time I wanted a PS Vita, but you know, I never ended up getting it. Well, let me tell you something. The PS Vita, they're going to be phasing it out, but I bet that's going to be a great time to, to get some of these on uh, on fire sale. And if you have a do you, do you have a PlayStation Plus account? Um, I actually had a PlayStation for one day and I returned it. Why? Why? Why would you do that? You know, just 
didn't find a need for it, I guess. Ah. Well, because you had uh, other systems, or you, you felt like you maybe uh, you had too many games to play already? Why, why did you return it? I'm more of a Nintendo Switch kind of guy. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. Well, I have a feeling uh, that Iconoclast uh, is going to have a sort of limited audience on the PS Vita, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it on Nintendo Switch before too long. How about <sighs> that? Well, I'd be so excited for that. I think I would be happy to make that purchase. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your call. We've got uh, another set of nominees coming up. The, the next set of nominees is, of course, our best 3DS game of the year. Uh, top of the list is the WarioWare Gold, taking all of these wonderful WarioWare mini games, compiling them all into one 3DS package for uh, a wonderful price of $39.99. WarioWare Gold is a reminder of what makes these games so popular, so interesting, and so unforgettable. It's WarioWare Gold. You can take it wherever you want. You can play it. Uh, you can. It doesn't have street uh, the the Mevo uh, the, the the Me Plaza thing anymore. Uh, that it was ever a thing with the WarioWare games, but it is a is a nominee. Next up, we have Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. He's uh, small. He's he's a friend, and he uh, is filled with lightning. And everyone is excited when he comes around to solve crimes. He's solving crimes, he's taking the bad guys, he's putting them in jail, he's Detective Pikachu. Hello, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We are going through the nominees for the best 3DS game of 2018. We have Detective Pikachu, we have WarioWare Gold. What do you think's next? Oh man, I really don't know. I can't. I can't think of any games that came out recently. Well, for the 3DS, how, how if I? How about if I? If I bring up a game that really flew in under, you might say, rolled in under people's radar. It's Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers from the uh, the new Nintendo IP that a lot of people have have not been paying attention to. But I think that after tonight, maybe they'll pay a little bit more attention. It's the Dylan series, the armadillo action game where he rolls around and fights other animals in the Wild West. Oh man, I hope that one wins. Well, it uh, you know, it's got a good chance if it's on the nominees and it's got a 1 in 5 chance of winning the best 3DS game of 2018 and you never know, it could have what it takes to go and get the big one. What do you think of that? I I really hope so, but you know, Detec Detective Pikachu is getting a movie. So, I I really hope that that other game wins though. Oh, okay. Well, uh what did you have a uh game that you played on the 3DS this year that you felt like might be uh, uh that that might be on this list or that you would have liked to see on the lists? I accidentally left my 3DS on an airplane, so I couldn't tell you, and that was at the beginning of the year. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's a that's a real tragedy. I I I can't imagine your loss. I'm so I'm so uh, deeply deeply sorry by that. That's all right. I'm still mourning, but I'll 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 get a new well, one when gonna, I can. Well, well, they've got those uh those those uh 2DS uh budget uh bundles for the holiday season that come uh, with Mario Maker pre-installed for eighty dollars. How uh how does that find you? Well, th that's really cheap. I didn't know about that. Well, I actually yeah, might I, get it, one. And I don't, you know, I it, the 2DS has never been a big seller. It hasn't exactly been flying off the shelf. So I have I have a feeling if you were to go down to your local uh Target or big box store that you might have uh, some more. Right on, uh, they might have some on the shelves. Uh, those holiday bundles are probably worth it if you've lost your 3DS and still hoping to play some of those uh, dual screen games, but without the 3D effect and without the analog stick, the second analog stick. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably get one of those. Thank you. All right, well, thank you for your call. Uh, so next up on the uh, 3DS, uh, best 3DS games of 2018, we've got uh, Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. We don't put a lot of uh, collections on this, on the, the 2018 Game of the Year awards, but collections sometimes do something special. In this case, it takes two DS games that reminded us about the heyday of the great Super Nintendo JRPGs, compile, compiles them together and reminds us what made those games so great, so memorable, and on the 3DS, it is a fantastic package, it's a fantastic value, and there is no reason why it should not be a nominee for the best 3DS game of 2018. The next is uh, you're on the air with electronic game information. We uh, have a, uh, a game here up on the screen that is, uh, of course, a very popular 3DS uh, game of 2018. Um, there, I, I'm pretty sure that I played this one, and it is, uh, maybe you can help, uh, I mean, maybe I can help there's a bunch of, uh, uh, 
there's a bunch of uh, young people, and they are dressed up, and they are dressed to the nines, and they are uh, they look very heroic. What do you think it is? A bunch of and a bunch of young people, and they're dressed up, and they're. And it's a 3DS game, it? and it came out in 2018. Yeah, 2018, dressed up, and it's sort of. So like a 3D or like a side scroller type deal? Well, I couldn't tell you because we just have uh, one image. It looks like it might be from the box art. And the winner has been announced. And the winner is, of course, not that game. It was the game that I did play. It was Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. So glad that that, that one. Are, are you a yes. 3DS fan? Yes. I am a huge 3DS fan. Uh, did you play Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology? <laughs> I have not played that one. I didn't get to play that one. Well, it but... is a fan. Do you, you like JRPGs? Do you like classic turn-based JRPGs? I love them, yeah. I've been wanting to invest in more of them. I don't get a lot of those on well, the Well, let me yet, tell you but... about Radiant Historia. There's uh, multiple games on the cartridge. It's a fantastic... Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna spend your money on something, this is a game that you can really stick a lot of hours into. A lot of story, a lot of characters, lots of play ways to play. And, you know, if it's a cartridge, you can always return it and get some money back from it. All right, it's like a collection type game. I'm Absolutely. Into that. Well, thank you so much for your call. Next up we have our, now we're getting into the consoles. We have our best PC game of the year of 2018. This is, of course, a game that uh, a lot of people played on a lot of different platforms, but that doesn't mean that it's any less special. It's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's a action adventure game that has a very that is increasingly going towards the action RPG genre as you uh, as, as, as various stats can be leveled up uh, we have Far Cry 5 Far Cry 5 is uh, again a, a shoot 'em up game with a violent past and it is on the PC as, as well as Shadow of the Tomb Raider also on PC also an action game very fantastic PC is of course a great way to play games if you have uh, never owned a console before but you like to word process you can put an extra big uh, piece of hardware into your machine and play Shadow of the Tomb Raider what do you think about that and uh, the next nominee is well, it is difficult but, uh, hey, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We've got the best PC game nominees. Things are really heating, heating up now. Uh, we've just got Far Cry 5, Assassin's Creed, Odyssey. Uh, and the next game is, of course, a kind of uh, medieval-looking game. It's people sitting around in the woods or maybe by huts, and they look uh, miserable. What they do you think miserable? it is? miserable? Yes. A medieval game, they look miserable? Yeah, they, look, they, don't, like they, they don't look like they're having any fun at all. Do you, do you think that they could be in the spawn like Shadowhawk game? Like no, no, that this is a game that actually came out this year. This is a uh, PC game that uh, it's got, uh, seems like a decent budget, uh, kind of 3D, uh, maybe free roaming. Can't really tell what, I, what I'm looking at. Uh, looks kind of like a Bruegel painting. Any help? Like, like, that sounds like almost like, a, like Headless Harn. No. <laughs> no, not like Headless Harn. It's... Who's Headless Harn? He Next up, we have uh, the next nominee for uh, the best PC game of 2018 is, of course, a top-down, uh, one of these classic Obsidian-style or, or Black Isle-style games. It's, uh, it's Tyranny 2, or maybe it's Pillars of Eternity 2, or maybe... Oh, do we, 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 we do have a winner. It's the game of the year for the PlayStation. I mean, the, play, the, PC. the PC. It's a PC game of 2018. And it's it's one. You're on the air with electronic game information. I stayed up very late trying to play as many games as possible that that, that won awards. And uh, we have we are now on our Xbox One category. Hello, caller. You're on the line. Hello. How are you doing tonight? Did you do you own an Xbox One? I I own an Xbox One. What is your what was your favorite uh, game that came out on Xbox One this year? Uh, I mostly just played Monster Hunter World. Oh wow, Monster Hunter World. That was a, uh, I, I believe that was one of our nominees from last night uh, that I didn't quite get to uh, talk much about because I hadn't played it yet. But it seems like a popular multiplayer online game. Do you play online with your friends? Yep. That's fantastic. Is that your favorite way to play? Uh, yeah, it's one of the only games I've played this year. <laughs> do you think that uh, do you uh, you know I've I've, I've, not, I've been looking for a kind of multiplayer game to play with my friends here. I've got uh, Ben and Cricket and and Alan. Hey, hey, Robbie. Well, you can have a squad of four, so. Oh, yeah, and you have a squad of four. You can play with four players. 
Then you get all, you get pallet codes and shit. It's I awesome. Got, I got it. I got it. This is Monster Hunter World. You good? Robbie, you good? Yeah. All right. Uh, and we also have another nominee for the Xbox One Game of the Year uh, is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This, is, this seems to be popping up on a lot of lists. Do you play Assassin's Creed Odyssey this year, caller? Nope. Okay, and okay, the next one is Far Cry 5. Uh, Far, did you play Far Cry 5? It seems like a lot of people played Far Cry 5. It came out in kind of uh, that, that sort of middle part of the year that people don't uh, necessarily buy the most games during, but uh, it seems like it made a lot of people's lists. It made this list this year on a number of different consoles. What do you think of that? Yeah, I played five. I mostly just fly around the plane. That's probably the best part of the game. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, thank you for your call. And uh, we we have uh, one more nominee, I believe. Or, uh, it is a State of Decay 2. And State of Decay 2 is, of course, a game that uh, a lot of people play online, but you can play offline. It's got uh, base building mechanics, uh, lots of different characters. Did you guys, uh, do you guys like games where you can build bases? Yes. What's your favorite base building game, Alan? My favorite base building game would got to be Fallout 76. You playing a lot of Fallout 76? It's so fun, and you can you can you can build really awesome bases, and it, it's it's so fun. That's interesting because I keep hearing about uh, how Fallout 76. It's getting a lot of. Um, I mean, you like it. You're having fun. It's absolutely well, the most all, fun game hands matters, down. Alan. Don't listen to what anyone else uh, tells you about Fallout 76. Gregor, what about you? Do you play any uh, base building games on the Xbox One this year? No. Uh -uh. Ben? What's up? Did you play any base building games on the Xbox One or any other platform? Um, PlayStation 4, PC, 3DS, PS Vita? Does uh, Ken Griffey Jr. baseball count for... Super Nintendo, I think I played that. That didn't come out this year, that came out uh, like 30 years ago. Yeah, but it's okay. got bases well, in it. Yes? Can I just say, I think the other day when I was here, I was a little hardline about the cubbies, and I think it's also okay if we call them cubby holes. Well, uh, thank you for apologizing. It's not necessary to apologize about that. Uh, we are trying to wrap up the Game of the Year awards. We're just gonna kind of focus on the games that came out this year. Thank you for saying that. Uh, I, I just I really oppose the word cubby as a as a general rule. So if it's not something that kind of fits into the sort of language that you would use when building a wagon in the 17th century, I think we should just kind of strike it out of the uh, the lexicon of the game. But thank you for saying something, and uh, let's go on Spawn to the next. Introduce the okay. word cubby. Thank you. Uh, the next, uh, P uh, we have our PS4 Game of the Year awards. We've got uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is again on the the nominee for the best PS4 game. We've got Spider-Man for the best PS4 game. Glad to see Spider-Man swinging back into action. Uh, so so glad to see Spider-Man uh, making making waves again. But this time with the developers of Infamous and Ratchet and Clank. God of War is, of course, a, a fantastic return to form for the God of War series, which has mostly stayed uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, standard entries in the series. And uh, this time it's just one long camera movement. And, you know, what a fantastic way to present uh, a, a new vision for the franchise. Hello, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We're talking about the best PlayStation 4 game that came out in 2018. Do you own a PlayStation 4? Um, I do not yet. Okay, what, what systems do you own? I've got a PC. All right. And a PS3. PS3. So, did Three. you play any uh, games on your PS3 this year? Um, not any games that came out in 2018. Well, d just anything that you play, please. Uh, well, I played, um... All of the Assassin's Creed, the games that were released on the PS3. I all played of them, every single one. So from, from the first Assassin's yeah. Creed to uh, Assassin's Creed 4. Yep. That's fantastic. You played all of those in yeah, 2018, really or you just played those over the, uh, the sort of lifespan of the PlayStation 3? Oh, no, I played them. I replayed them all this year. It that's, was really fun. Oh, that's a, what, what, what a treat it must have been for you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, well, I'm, I'm a big fan of those Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I don't necessarily like the fact that they feel felt the need to add in this kind of future story or present day story. I think it's just uh, yeah. fine to run around in those historical cities and experience uh, the sort of tidbits of history that we overlook when we just uh, read about them in history class. 
Yeah, exactly. I have the same opinion. I, I really don't like the present day story part. Well, maybe, maybe and, you know, maybe with the, the, the sort of bigness of Assassin's Creed Origins and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, people are going to kind of just sort of want a big pushback against those uh, kind of needless elements and just focus on what, uh, what really matters and what really makes those games stand aside. That's so smart. Thanks, Alan. I really appreciate that. Do you guys play those Assassin's Creed games, uh, Cricket? Ben? Yeah. Did you play any of the Assassin's Creed games? I love them. Okay. And uh, th so let's, we got uh, more, so a couple more PS4 games to go over. Uh, we have, I, it really, you know, next year we'll probably want to maybe go through a couple of, uh, of, uh, of meetings where we actually talk about how the screenshots are going to be formatted in the screen. But I'm going to go ahead and guess that that's a screenshot from Monster Hunter World. Uh, and the game of the year is, uh, for PlayStation 4 is God of War. Congratulations to God of War on the PlayStation 4. Yay! All right. Okay. And uh, that leads us with Ooh. the best Nintendo Switch game of 2018. You guys excited about this one? This yeah, is yeah. The Nintendo Switch, Switch has been making a lot of waves this year. We have our first nominee in the form of Dead Cells. Dead Cells is, of course, the Metroidvania game that doesn't let up when it comes to toughness. It lets you hurt. It lets you feel the pain. It makes you go back and forth and back and forth and get a increasingly further each time you play. Dead Cells is a fantastic fantastic game uh, on the Nintendo Switch or any other platform that you can play it, but it's especially fun to play it on the Nintendo Switch when you can take it wherever where you go and then plug it into a dock and have it be uh, playable on a big screen TV. Caller, you're on the air with the Electronic Game Information. We're talking about the best Switch games of 2018 nominees. Is this GameStop? This is uh, Electronic Game Information. This is a video game show that is streaming live on the internet. Uh, we've gotten given out a lot of awards so far, but now we are in the final stretch with the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we've just nominated Dead Cells, and now we are also nominating Super Mario Party. What, did you play Super Mario Party or Dead Cells this year? So I came in a few days ago, and I bought a uh, Nintendo Switch charger, mm -hmm. uh, a Switch to USB, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's called the USB-C, mm -hmm. and I... Uh, I've had my Switch charging all night, and it's still dead. And I was calling to see if do you guys like take returns. This well, is, this is this, this is, a, is a video this game. This is electronic uh, game information. This is a this is streaming live on the internet. Uh, I I'm, I've written down your problem. I do. I will uh, follow up uh, with GameStop for you just to, to make sure that they're not selling any uh, faulty Twitch units. Uh, during this holiday season, it's very important that people be able to play the Switch games that they that they purchase. I'm sorry for your for your troubles. I, I can't help you any farther, but maybe there's uh, you know you can contact some of your uh, elected representatives and have them go to GameStop with you and ensure that you are treated uh, fairly. Thank you for your call, caller. Um, hey, Robbie. Yes. Are you busy right now? Yes, I'm doing the uh, the uh, I, I'm uh, no. I'm and we're in the home stretch right. of the, the Game of the Year Awards. Keep doing your thing. Okay. Thank you, Ben. And uh, we have a couple more nominees for the Nintendo Switch game. We've got uh, Smash Brothers. We've got Smash Brothers Ultimate. We've got Octopath Traveler. Of course, the fantastic return to JRPG form. And the platformer Celeste that doesn't let up. That lets you... And the winner is Dead Cells. We have Dead Cells winning the Nintendo Switch game of 2018. That is a fantastic... Fantastic news, everybody! I'm yay. so I'm so happy for Dead Cells. Um, that, yay. So happy to uh, announce that Dead Cells has made it to that 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 great award. And now we are going to go ahead into the final category of the evening. This gives me uh, so much uh, pleasure and and, and happiness. Uh, this is the game of the year 2018. We've got our our final nominees lined up here on this piece of paper. Our first uh, nominee for Game of the Year is Dead Cells. And you can tell that I have a lot of fun with Dead Cells. And I, uh, I will continue to have some fun with Dead Cells. And hopefully some of you viewers out there will continue to have fun with Dead Cells. Next up, we have Super Mario Party. Super Mario Party is a, is a bit of a dark horse candidate for Game of the Year. But I think that if uh, those of you who have gone out and played Super Mario Party on the Nintendo Switch, played them with your friends, played them with your with your family, hey, especially Robbie? around that. Yes? Are you busy right now? Can I? We are a little bit busy. What's happening? This is the game. 
we're doing the. This is the final. This is the final um, part of the show where oh, we. We're, we're we're in the show. Ben, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Okay. No, I was I was so confused, but um. Okay. I just ha I have something, but. I had something I wanted to talk about, but no, well, we're, we're in the show. No, I totally no, didn't realize we're in the do show. It. You should let him Wait, do it. Let it. You, no, you, this is going to be no. nice. I didn't realize you were in the show. Is this actually the game like, of the year? No, it's better that it's in the show. I think I th I think it's. I, I mean, can better. we just do this now? Can we do what I'm saying yeah. now and then go back Come to on, what Robbie. you're doing? I, uh, I, Come on, okay, Robbie. Uh, okay. Come on. Because whatever's found me, I don't care. But I just have this thing. I kind of got to go in a few minutes. So if you don't, if you don't care, then let's just actually keep uh, here's going the with the game of the year. Because I actually really want to know. Alan, 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 hold on, wait, hold on. I hear, like I, hear me out, everyone, please. I brought Cricket and Ben on here a couple days ago, and I asked them to help me with something. And then I kind of switched things up at the last second, and uh, I feel like it ruined you guys' experience of, of, of being on the show. And so I don't even I, remember then I, I really no, would like, no, no. just hear me out. I would like you to be able to, if you have something that you would like to share with the audience, then, then please do. Yeah, um, so one, I don't even remember the first time we were on the show anymore, but uh, I was looking at some of the episodes some of the previous episodes, and I noticed that you guys do these, you call you call them poems, I think? Yeah, they are yeah. video poems. Um, we, we kind of use them to kind of express yeah. some of the subtext around what the individual episodes are exploring. Yeah, well, I am also a poet. Everything I do is poetry. So I made a, I made a poem of my own. What? So. Yeah. I thought maybe it would be cool if we could show it. It's so good. Or no, 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 no. It's so I, good. Well, I, I, no, seriously. Actually, uh, Robbie has it's, it's pretty you. important. No. Like the, the poems usually happen at a very specific um, point in the show. Uh, is, so it, is it? Is it? Is it? Um, you have it. You have it here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's all. It's all ready to go. If you want. If we. I think we should. I don't okay. know. I mean, I think it's right. I don't know why. I think you guys. I. I think you're really gonna like it, especially you. I made it for the show, so I mean, okay, it would be weird not to play it. If we, if we have it, let's. let's if you want to keep going with the games, with the like the little games that, that the you game want to play and stuff like that, but will be announced. And, we could show and, the uh, poem, though. This is, but this, if you have something that you feel like is relevant to the yeah, show, I think that's. Yeah. There's only one, you know. There's only one Game of the Year awards 2018. Uh, so let's and just show. And this is it. This, yeah. And this is it. And this is yeah. There's, there's only, only one. one. Let's, uh, let's only roll one the time. poem then, please. Yeah. That's actually not how we do poems that is a poem. on the EGI. I, it, I mean, oh. no. well, Everything I do is poetry. But well, okay, first off, you, the poem, the poems on the show, they always have something to do with the context of uh, the, the drama of the show, what we're talking on the show. That was a really right. self-serving kind of... What's, that was just like promotion for your... For your Twitter, I don't know why you'd actually. Can I say? Can I say right now about the poem is that it's it, the poems in, in the can. It's it's it, we're wrapped on the poem. So actually, what would be helpful is some like constructive ideas on who to shop it around to. It's well, been, then okay. I, okay. Here's okay. the problem. Um, so Ben, when you came in, you signed paperwork, uh, and I, I so the. Just because I do did, care about you, someone I don't, gave me a piece of paper, but I just wrote on it. I, I said um, I wrote everything I do is poetry. Then you actually should not be here because if you didn't sign the release, you shouldn't be on the camera. Is that isn't that right? Well, we technically own, own, own EGI. Technically, own or not EGI, but the network technically owns that video now. What network are you talking about? This is online. This, this is streaming. This is, online, right? streaming on an, uh, this is a part of Adult Swim. It's a it's a it's All a right. network that right. has. So um, we'll, that they have we'll a lot of work. lawyers. I just don't we'll want to make you it work. I'm not worried about it. Don't, so don't try to. I'm not worried about it. We'll make it work. You guys, um, I. I don't. I, wait, um, I just. 
I know this is weird, but like I really, I, I'm shy and I wasn't going to do this, but I was really inspired by Van's poem and I was wondering if I Thank could you. share a poem. Thank can you. I, I think you should. I think you absolutely should. Okay. Is it, can you, is, can, is, is can it I? sort of, is it, I'm, I'm a little worried that we're, do you this guys is, have we're airdrop? kind of getting um, a little bit. Okay, I'm going to airdrop it to you. We have a sort of direction that we're okay. trying to take the show right now. Okay. Push. People, and I you just want to make sure that you want to see this. Just make sure that we're trying to find out who the did game of the year it? of award. Did you get it? You have to. You have to click. Obs yeah. yeah, it's not a poem. Okay. Well, one. Okay, I see a couple problems oh with God. this. I see a couple problems with this. First off, can no. we get that off? Can we get that off? Can Who's we get that off fired? the screen? No, 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 Wait, no, 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 no. One. That's not a video poem for several reasons. Is it? That that was a still image, Cricket. When we do video poetry, one, it takes us a long time to make those videos. It, take, it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of interns work on those, and they move, it, there's movement. And on top of that, one more thing, just before, I just have to say, if you're gonna do a poem, there has to be language, okay. words. You, it, it, it was just a picture okay. of you, okay. with a Snapchat. Okay, no, 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 I get it, it's fine. Like, I'm open to critiques, critiques, and, um, wait, can I airdrop you one more? Okay, no, 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 we showed, we showed, okay, thank you, Cricket, we showed your poem. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Kim. We showed gonna, your poem. Now, Robbie, now. let's go. Who, let's go back to the game. More, okay? what, who was? What were the nominees? Is that coming we through? We had a couple Hit more nominees. I just. I mean, that, if, 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 thank if, you, if Robbie. Gonna, hold, on. hold on. It had sound. It didn't have. That was tight. That was money. That did, it did, it no, moved. it did not have poetry. It was total fire. It Do you know how? Thank you. No, there. Everyone thank has. You, there are thousands of videos like that. There's nothing unique like or original that. about that. That was just the dog filter, I'm, and I, there was not poetry. Oh, wait, 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 doing my wait. Makeup cricket, cricket. So that what? What was that poem about? What was that poem about? This is Summarize. What was that? What? Hey, Look, hey, I just hey, think that you, if you, you have to explain to somebody what a poem's this about, game, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't show. be able to read Hello. it. Why don't, why don't you wait, tell me the I, poem? Why don't I, you read back to me the poem? What, what was that poem? Uh, I mean, let me turn this side. It was like. Read a poem. Yeah, let me, let me see if I remember how it went. Wasn't it something like. Am I in? Yeah. That. That's disgusting. How do you, how do you spell that? That's like, why don't you. A caller? Do we have a caller on the air? Yes, I'm in here. Hey guys. Hi, how are you? Hi, Cole, you're on the EGI. Information uh, Game of the Year Awards uh, 2018. Uh, have Have you been paying attention? Uh, a little bit. Could I ask you something? What's your favorite poem of the ones that I've shown? And And what's the Game uh, of the Year? I've been I uh, haven't been seeing it too much. Can't really give you. Oh, a good you want another right? poem? There's okay. Okay, here's this is for you. What's your name? Uh, Jeremy. What's Jeremy, up, Jeremy, this is for you. Let's get, I sent one more poem. That's so fire. Did you like That's the so poem? Money. Hello? That's so uh, good. I'm trying to see it, but the latency is a little bit messed up, I think. The what? No. No, the poem. Okay, has okay, we showed um, the poems. Okay, back, no Robbie, no back to you. Let's go. Excuse poem. me, just a moment. Excuse Cricket? me, just a Cricket? moment. Yeah. I love, first of all, I love what you did. I love your series. Thank I think you. it's money. And I think, send it to me. I got a guy. He's going to chop it up, put a little polish on it. I kind of think that And then we'll talk about, I think we'll talk about where to shop it. In a package? I'm going to shop together? together. I think it what would be, that would be a solid night of what? program. Absolutely. What are you talking about? We could shop it around. To who? This was already on. This. This is on E. This is EGI. This is how things happen. No, 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 no. Alan, this is this, this is, is the Game of the Year award. Show some respect. Show some respect. This is the Game okay. of the Year award. Okay. Back to you, Robbie. You okay. Know, this um, is uh, when I posted awards, I haven't is, yelled. Okay. We are so. we're, we're you are creators, awards. and you're being yeah. very condescending and very I anti right awards. now. Okay. Okay. I posted awards. We are. This uh, is a video what game award show. show. This is a show where we talk about video games. Okay. This is a show where we talk about video games that are coming out, that have come out, that, uh, that we want to see come out. This is not some... Go ahead. I would like you to talk about video games. I brought all of you here to talk about video games. Right. So I'm going to now, let's take a moment to just reset 
and each of us is going to talk about a game that we have played recently that we like. Ben, please start with a game that you have played. All right, um, I played uh, Palace Pounder. Um, you you go around each each room and you fight. Uh, if you win the room, then you and it's in a castle. And if you win the room, you get like a bunch of hentai. And you just ben, go, you collect it, and then ben, if you please. get enough, you win. I guess. I don't want to hear about anything about anything dirty. What do you mean? Can we get a, 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 a collar on the air? And I'll, I'll try to kind of lead you through this. Hello, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. Hey. So we're here talking with Ben O'Brien. Hello. Uh, caller, hey. I would like you to tell Ben O'Brien about a game that you played this year that you really liked and that you think that Ben oh, might like. What type of games do you like, Ben? <sighs> um... Let's see, Palace Pounder. I also played um, a game called Hentai Warrior. Um, oh, yeah? Yep, and then I played, um, what have I played? I had a list. Oh, you had a list? Um, do you like um, to, to games where you jump? Do you like games where that you uh, find treasure? Yeah, or what Tinder. Kind of Tinder. It's not a game. It's kind of, it's kind of a game. Uh, I, think well, you're, I think you're confused. I can't tell if I'm confused or not. I guess so, so. Maybe I am. I don't. I don't. And I can't. And I don't even know that's how confused I am. Or maybe uh, I. I know more than everyone else around me, which is usually what I settle on. It's definitely not. A I'm game. sorry, Robbie. You're you're kind of surrounded by a bunch of horn heads right now. Uh, Thank and you. uh, you've got a person with a lot of heart right behind you. Thank you. And uh, but he's your fanger, so right, you should well, hang you. on down. I I, I, Thanks I, I, I appreciate you uh, calling in. Um, Hey Robbie, thank I you for calling. Robbie, check thank this you. out. I'm going to check that game out that I, you mentioned. Thanks. I drew a drawing. That's that's uh, me what? in the box, and that's you sent you being surprised. That's when I when I surprised Alan, you. Alan, I uh, I do appreciate you drawing this. It's a, it it it's it's it's, it's, uh, it's kind of an awkward time. Uh, we have uh, we that's have amazing. another uh, this drawing that I did. Alan, send that picture. You know that picture to me. I have, to, I have a guy that'll make that picture into pixel. Hi, right, we're on the air with the electronic game information. We'll make it into 3D art, uh, okay. and we'll shop uh, that around. Alan, why don't you talk about uh, a game that you've played recently? Uh, you've been playing um, I've uh, been Fallout playing Fallout 76? 76 on the PC, and it's quite fun. It's probably one of the most fun games. It's definitely the most fun Fallout game I've ever played. Super fun. Caller, you're on the air with electronic game information. Did you play uh, Fallout 76? Caller, did you play Fallout 76? Maybe I saw you out in the wasteland. Caller? Hey. Hey. Is this the show where you talk about video games? This is the show that we talk about video games. We're talking about Fallout 76. Uh, Alan has been playing a lot of God. Fallout 76. Want... Uh, he's been enjoying it. Awesome. Have you have you played Fallout 76? Uh, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. Fallout 76 is a very fun open world kind of multiplayer online game where you go around a, a, a wasteland that's been recently wrecked by, oh, fun, yeah. by uh, cool. fallout of nu really nuclear fun. war and you get to uh, meet friends, real life people, and then uh, you also get to talk to robots and read old logs and consoles and, and, mm -hmm. and none, of the char none of the human characters Man. actually talk. Sounds tedious. All right, well, thank you for your call. Uh, uh, next up, we've got uh, Cricket Arison. Cricket, why don't you tell us about uh, a game that you've played recently that you've, uh, that you've uh, really enjoyed this year? I guess the game that I'm really excited about these days, it's kind of new, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it, it's called Smood, and it's so cute. There's these little super old faces. I know that game. It's a super old game. I know that and game. it's like, okay, so the faces <laughs> are organized, like they were put uh -huh. into like a grid, and then you yeah. have a gun with other faces in yes, it. Yes, you do. Caller, you're on the air with electronic game information. Uh, we were talking to Cricket Arison. Have you been uh, playing any games that you liked this year in 2018? <clears throat> yeah, I have actually. Uh, Jackbox Party Pack 5. It's a collection of uh, five party games you can play on your phone. It's really great at parties. As let, me, let me stop you. Have you played Snood? Yep. Have I played Good Snood? Question. Yeah. Good question, Snood. Um, I sleep. That's snoozing. But no, I've never heard of a game called Snooze. Snood, you wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah. have heard about it. It's a Snood. super old game. Snood. 
It's like it's your dad. Not ask, old. If you have like a, uh, your, ask your dad about oh, it. Oh, snood, snood. Yeah, I played snood. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Isn't it right. so fun? Yeah. Yeah, it is. What's your favorite face? Oh, oh gosh, it's so hard to choose, really. I know. Um, There's not that many, but it's so hard to choose. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Which one? You have to. Oh god. Um hmm. I gotta think. I, I'm trying to remember what they look like. It's, it's been a while since I've actually played. Or like um, I don't wanna lead you by the nose, so why don't you just say? Why don't you just say? Um, alright, I'll Give me a second here. Um, uh, hmm. I, I don't know. I don't think this person's a real fan of Snood. Well, thank you for your call, and uh, we are going to go ahead and um, uh, we're going to wrap this up. All right? That's great. That was really good. You got a show, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Can I just, can you just, no? Uh, it, this is, this is. This is for me. Sorry. Some final thoughts uh, as we wrap up this uh, wonderful year of gaming, 2018. Um, uh, what a year. Uh, so many wonderful games. Uh, you know, so little time to play them. I do want to address uh, one thing that has been uh, bugging me for some time. A couple weeks ago, uh, there was a rumor that Metroid Prime Trilogy would be released on the Switch. And uh, it turned out to be uh, just a rumor. Um, at least that's how it seems. Um, but I just wanted to let uh, someone know, if there's anyone out there from Nintendo, um, anybody with any decision-making power, that if... Metroid Prime Trilogy was to be re-released next year uh, for the Nintendo Switch. I would buy it for full price, even though I already bought it on the Wii, and I bought it again when it came out on the Wii U Virtual Console. I will buy Metroid Prime Trilogy without waiting for a discount, and I don't think that I'm the only one. Also, maybe if the, the uh, Rogue Squadron games from GameCube were compiled into one disc or one cartridge, that would be uh, another thing I'd be willing to buy for the, the full price. I, I, uh, I would actually like a physical copy of that. So I would uh, maybe buy a digital copy and uh, a physical copy. And that was Electronic Game Information's uh, Game of the Year's Game of the Year Awards 2018. Uh, thank you so much for uh, Ben and, and Cricket and Alan all being here. Um, we will be uh, certain to uh, take a look at uh, the invitations for uh, next year. What was, what was the Game of the Year? Dead Cells. And uh, we'll see you guys in 2019.